after 10 months of going from doctor to doctor, Al Milas finally resorted to a muscular therapist, which in turn changed his life. Because Al suffered from muscular trauma and put most of his energy towards the medical field, he gave up his engineering career to an area that would educate him in the world of muscular therapy. Yeah, it started purely as a selfish motivation and as I was going along the line in order to find out everything that I needed to know for uh, what's going on in the head, I had to learn pretty much the rest of the body. So along the way I learned out, uh, learned certain things that I could get rid of my wife's uh, migraines, for example, and you know, by treating them. Previously she was taking drugs for them. And so I started being able to make changes in people's bodies. After practicing in his specialty for 10 years, Al suffered from a hernia which was caused by applying constant pressure on his patient's injuries. In January, he was forced to stop working. But this didn't keep Al from making his business a success. As I was laying in the hospital, I was thinking, you know, I'm an engineer. Uh, you know, my specialty was factory automation, robotics, uh, machine vision systems. Uh, there's got to be an easier way to do this therapy uh, without killing myself. With the help of Acreda, a government service, Martin Marietta Engineers, and grants, Al got just what he wanted, a device that put him back in business and working harder than ever. Al's idea uh, seemed like something that uh, we could definitely help him with. Um, when he first came, he wanted something uh, heavily motiv uh, automated with a lot of precision. The robot is designed to help correct structural distortions and relieve tensions. The lengthening process applies pressure to the trauma area and stretches the muscle fibers. One patient declares it's keeping him from having herniated disc surgery. A few months ago, I kneeled down, I actually didn't kneel down, I just squatted down to pick something small off the floor, did it exactly like you're supposed to do it when you pick up things, but all of a sudden pain shot down my leg and uh, the pain stayed there for several days. It was very intense and uh, some people recommended I come see Al and I went to a doctor who also happened to recommend that I come see Al. And uh, as a matter of fact, he did help me uh, almost immediately. Uh, I was able to, to walk out with much less pain. This man says he's had pain for several years. Now I had a high school football injury where my shoulder was dislocated. And over the years, it had been a chronic problem. Anytime I got my arm up and back in an elevated position, it would dislocate. And that happened maybe 15 or 20 times over a 20-year period. He checked the muscles, and just from him diagnostically checking him, it was about 50% better. Then he treated it two or three times, and it was like I had a new shoulder after 30 years. I could go back to playing tennis and doing other things that required overhead movement. Patients here have found relief for their serious injuries. And while this robot has helped many, Al is inventing seven other devices to help treat people's pain. Uh, plastic devices that typically will retail about $50 price range. Yes, things that people can take home. What was a painful and disturbing experience changed into a lifetime rewarding goal for Al Milas. Relieving people of their pain makes him proud that he chose the successful career he made. Reporting for Local Look, I'm Brenda Fazzini. And from what Brenda tells me, Al's robot, along with all his other inventions, are patented so no one can steal them away.